All right, y'all, uh, we got this video. Um, Dr. Samirian apparently covered the SCP strike that I had gotten from Detective Void. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I emailed him. I hit him up. I was in his YouTube comments. You know what I mean? I didn't even want any type of, like, I didn't want to release a video or nothing. I just want him to retract the strike, bro, because I understood, you know what I mean, wh how he could feel like, it, it, you know, if it's his content. At the end of the day, the way I felt about the situation was simple. If you didn't like it and you you didn't want me to make any type of reaction or content on your video, you should have just like told me, hit me up. I would have took the video down. No arguing, no nothing. I don't care if it's creative comments. If you don't want me to, to react to your videos or if you don't want me doing anything to do with you, I won't. But it's the fact that he didn't retract it and SCPs are uh, copyright comments. And um, so, yeah, so apparently Dr. Sumerian... Um, and by the way, I'm actually a big fan of his just uh, for the fact that uh, the the Daybreak um, SCP-001, where it's like the sun melting everybody, uh, I'm pretty sure he's one of the guys who helped write one of the newer videos, and I was like a huge fan of it. So like, yeah, shout out to him. But apparently he's talking about the situation. That's what everybody's telling me. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check it out, and we're going to put our input and, and things so that we can probably add. I know there might be gaps and holes in like the whole situation overall. So we're going to go ahead and, and check it out to see uh, where we can um, fill in any holes. And I'm not even trying to, because ever since I was a kid, you know, I, I want to be, I guess, a YouTuber. Not necessarily, but like I've always liked YouTube, and I never thought I would do a reaction to a reaction. But, or not, not it's not even necessarily a reaction, but it's a common, common commentating on a situation that I'm involved in whatever but uh yeah bro uh we're gonna go ahead and, and look into it dive into it and, and give our insight our side so we can like clear it up a little bit and uh so yeah let's go ahead and um check this out turn it up full volume and uh yeah bro hold on let me ahoy hoy hello again it's your local homeless person here to speak to you today about a serious copyright problem why do you why do you enter your video like that, bro? <laughs> so I haven't been able to find out a lot about the response to this, but I know for sure that an SCP reactor, well, technically I believe they react to a bunch of things, but they also react to SCP content, named Isaiah X Cozy. Mama I made it. Mama I made it. <laughs> Oh, it's just weird, bro. It's just weird. It's stuff like this you never expect. Anywho, <laughs> let's go, bro. Has been uh, copyright struck by a SCP animated channel called Detective Void. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I can see from Detective Void is it looks, and I could be wrong. Let's look at the about page. I'm det okay. Fantastic. I'm Detective Void. It's not how you think. That's uh, y useful, sure. Okay. Um, so what has happened is that, and I'm gonna go into why this doesn't really, this isn't cool. But we already know, right? We already understand what a Creative Commons license means. Yep. But it's also important because I think a lot of people outside of my community might not know. And I also think it's important to have solidarity with people who are running into similar problems that you may run into at some future point. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not speaking to this person's YouTube content in any way. I'm not recommend. I'm not necessarily recommending it because I haven't watched any of, of it beyond the video where they explain their copyright strike. Okay. And I don't want to be recommending something I don't have. Uh, I, I don't want to be recommending something that I'm. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share. Listen, 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 listen. Isaiah Cozy SCP reactions are superior. Okay. That's it, you know? That's it. And I would like to say real quick, I'm not one of those people that, like, sit... I'm not one of those people that, that come on here and I, like, I would just sit there and watch the SCP. We talk about it. We dissect it. We make jokes. We have fun. Listen, bro. You know what I mean? If you literally watch just one, one of my popular, you know... Even even rubber likes my videos, you know what I mean? Which is why it was a shock to me to even get one. But anyway, let's let's keep going. Let me let me let me hear his point and let me hear his let me hear everything he's gonna say. I'm not familiar with. But I do wanna shine a light on this issue because it's important <laughs> enough to shine a light on. So I think most people know that this has happened to me before. I had 
uh, a copyright strike, but it was retracted within hours of me appealing it. Um, from who was it? That's, that's how that's how in that's how ephemeral it was that I don't even remember who it was. It's uh, it was uh, yep, it was infographics, but they retracted it immediately. Uh, got in contact with me. We had a comp. Yeah, shout out, out my guys at the infographics. Yeah, y'all be making some hairstyles with potatoes, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro. We had a few conversations about it. Um, they apologized. It was a whole thing, right? That happened. Now, what we're dealing with today is similar to that, but on a smaller scale, with both creators being smaller. We have Isaiah X Cozy, who only has their, this, I believe, their reaction channel. They have an, uh, a <coughs> stream highlights channel. Just happens to have a lot of reactions. Yeah, yeah. Main, quote unquote, main channel that's only about 20,000 subscribers, and the reaction channel has about 50, well, it's less than 50. But hey, listen, listen, listen. The, the main channel go crazy. The main channel go crazy. All right, listen, bro. We've we, we been, listen, listen, listen. Hey, listen, 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 y'all. Listen, y'all, listen, y'all, listen, y'all, listen, y'all. All right. I already told y'all, long term, long term, you know what I'm saying? We going to look, look, 7,000, 1.5, 580, 14K, 424, 49, 1.1, 2.1. Listen, compare this to when I first started, you know what I'm saying? We, yeah, we, 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 all right, bro. We all right. We all right. About 50,000 subscribers. And uh, the channel that uh, copyright struck them only has... 35 36 thousand subscribers so these are both smaller channels in general and this is the kind of thing that can definitely fly under the radar if not picked up by a bigger channel which is the only reason i'm really covering it and i really we appreciate you sir i went on their Discord. Oh, i went on a discord i'm not ugh, ugh, i was not i was not a fan of the interactions i saw going on at the time i arrived let's just say that much but I went on their Discord to check out uh, what was going on, and uh, nobody knew anything. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 All right, listen, sir. <clears throat> All right, listen. Um, uh, um, it's not what it seemed. Um, you know what I'm saying? We just uh. You know, they, they have a lot of fun in there. Uh, they tend to get a little reckless. You know, at, at times, it can seem like it's a little toxic, but it's really a close-knit family. Um, but I can understand why you would uh, see it that way. Uh, yeah, uh, chat, I'm going to need y'all, you know? I'm going to need help here. Uh, but yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're not that bad. Um, you know, Cozy Gang is very nice. Uh, we're very helpful. Um, you know what I mean? We, uh... We, 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 we help, um, you know, we help a lot of people with their bad days and, you know, we talk about a lot of things. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yo, yo, everybody apologizing. <laughs> I checked it this morning. I probably should have checked it a few days ago and then waited for somebody to get back to me, but I didn't do that. Look, Dr. Shamir, why didn't you just hit me up on the Discord? I'm literally at the very top. My Discord is always open. Um, you could have just hit up Cozy. You know what I mean? Or you could have just asked somebody which one I want, which one I was, and just DM me on Discord, and I would have literally sent you everything, like all the information. Or I could have even we could hop on a call. You know what I mean? Next time, don't look to the Discord. You could have asked somebody like one of my mods, but again, I wasn't there, so I'm not usually awake in the mornings. So I yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so I went on their Discord and looked around. And nobody was able to tell me whether or not the uh, situation had been resolved. What has happened? And we're going to go over the exact the details. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, well, to that, situation has not been resolved. I still have the strike. He has not even emailed me back. Listen, and it's, it's even crazy to me because on his most recent video, he replies to every, like, he makes it a point to reply to each and every one of his comments, this detective void, right? And literally right literally every single comment that has to do with me or the strike it he doesn't respond like i have a comment that's like 45 likes 50 likes literally bro i emailed it like he just doesn't he's not trying to cooperate at all and it's definitely the russian branch uh not that's even foundation but like he's like they're they're based in russia i appreciate the 100 bits so collector but yeah let's, let's keep going details of what has happened is 
is a video by Detective Void, which is an animated SCP channel, was reacted to by Isaiah X. Cozy, and then, I don't know if it was positive, negative, or whatever. Okay. So, typically when I do SCP reaction videos, we go in with the with the blank slate. We don't really have no opinions off the rip. We, t- we, 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 we talk about the animation... We talk about the commentary, the storytelling. We make we poke jokes at at the SCP itself, at, at the 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 situation, the storyline. Uh, we talk about everything. I wouldn't necessarily say it's negative or positive because at the end, I always appreciate the art and everything that they do, and I always say like this is fire because anything that takes animation takes skill, which is it's cool. Like it's fun to see that like the SCPs are animated, but at the same time, you know what I mean. Let's not sit here and pretend like they don't have a whole wiki script to go based off of. You know what I mean? It's not the, the most difficult. Like, it's hard to animate, but I'm talking about the scripting and the, and the narrating side of it. Besides, of course, Tales from the Foundation. I said that in my video. You know, I feel like I, 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 I'm i nice, right, chat? I'm, I'm nice. I'm nice when it, you know? I'm not, I don't ever say nothing. I'm, I'm nice, guys, right? Come on, come on. You guys are supposed to say yes. Uh, <coughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Right, right. What I do know is that it was is that it was copyright struck by the animated people. There are two things about this that are important to understand. First of all, I'm never going to fall into the thing where it's like, I mean, all they're doing is making animation based around SCP, so they're not doing anything of creative value. Because I feel like that's a very that's a very negative way to look at quite a lot of work. I love this little piece of hair that's just sticking up out of nowhere. That's a, <laughs> I can't get it to go down. Oh well. But it's a very negative way to look at like a lot of work. And animation is a lot of work. And even if you outsource it to a, uh, a studio, like, that's a lot of resources that you're dumping into it. So I somewhat can understand the reaction. I'm not saying I understand... Well, it's, it's, very, it's complicated, right? I understand the impulse. It is still incorrect and wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, again, like I said to... to like, what, what he's saying right now is, you know what I'm saying, somebody just react to your word. Y'all act like I'm, like, Jinx in 2010, bro. Nigga, he just sit there like, dee. <laughs> oh, for... Bro, nah, like, I literally, I... Pa- it's so bad to the point where literally everybody in the comments will be like, yo, stop pausing the video. Like, it's like half and half. Well, I won't say half and half. More like 35 percent of the video is me talking you know what i mean it's literally like that's that's how much i put commentary on my reactions you know to to follow through on that impulse because scp content is creative commons content and if you create an animation based around an scp what you're going to do is create content that is not protected under normal copyright laws fact in the way that you think that it is fact. at least let's say not protect it is listen if somebody took one of my scp reactions and reposted it on their own youtube channel theoretically speaking i cannot do anything i wouldn't want to do anything because that's free exposure like i was giving detective void uh a lot of and i'm not and i would never and i will never say this about anybody because everybody got out the mud themselves and they did their own thing i when when we talk about people like dr bob people be like oh my god i found dr bob through you and i'm not saying i made his career because i definitely didn't the man's talented but like i'm literally a gateway to new scp channels like i people who already know about scps they already know me, and then I react to somebody else, and then they become a fan of their channel, and it's literally just like, that's how everybody grows together. That's how the community collective go, collectively goes up. You know what I mean? It's, it's not it's not rocket science. Like, why are you going to copyright strike somebody that's literally showcasing your content on a pedestal? You know, that, and, that, and that's how I see it. Obviously, I put my own little pizzazz on it with my own commentary towards it, but it's not as if I'm just sitting there and just looking at your video, bro. I can do that on my own time. It's crazy. Is protected. There are protections Creative Commons provides, but they're not the protections that you're used to. So you can't literally just go, this person, even, I don't know what the reaction was because the video has been taken down. I wish I could show you the video, but I, <laughs> I, I do so many videos between my main channel, Twitch, and all the footage I have. I have to delete a lot of stuff that I do just to make sure that my storage and I have a lot of games. I wish I could show you the original video, sir, but I don't have it anymore, to be honest, like to be quite frank, to be honest. Uh, 
it is what it is. Even if the guy sits silently entirely through your video, that's just the thing you have to deal with. There's nothing you can do about that. And, and, and I, you know, we can say, look at that channel and say, oh, I, you know, they shouldn't have done that. They should have reacted to it more. They should have done it. And they may have. Again, I don't know because I don't know what the video looks like. I'm not making any judgments on the content that was taken down because I haven't seen it. But what I do know, okay, is that, and this is very true of people on the SCP Wiki as well. This is true of me. This is true of everybody. And everyone needs to understand this one truth about SCP content. It's the reason why you're never going to see a big budget movie about SCP or a television series that's that doesn't involve changing the ip in such a way as to basic you know exactly what he's gonna say anybody can repost it bro if you make a scp show on netflix somebody can repost that bitch on youtube and you can't do nothing about it absolutely nothing it's creative comments anybody could use it what are you talking about right now if we make it not scp right and it's very simply this though those of us who make a living and or uh try or and are trying to make a living off of scp content what you're doing is you are sacrificing normal copyright protections. You're sacrificing the ability to get people to not steal your work. You are explicitly sacrificing that. And you, even if you didn't realize you were, you need to be clear about this. That is what you're doing. And in exchange, you're getting a ready-made fan base that is fairly under-exploited, for lack of a better way to put it, uh, by media because media, the reason why media isn't exploiting the fan base, if there was a way to protect stuff like this, if these copyright strikes were actually valid, then media would be grabbing a hold of this and making SCP content because the audience is so big. A professionally made, like, big budget sort of animation studio would grab a hold of SCP content and make SCP stuff with the SCP logo while, you know, openly uh, shown. The reason why this is an unexplored niche and the reason why big budget stuff hasn't basically invaded the what's the, the fandom for lack of a better way to put it and i'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing i'm just saying it hasn't happened is because it's creative commons because they can't protect their ips so if you as a small creator start treating it like you're a big company and treating it like you have to quote unquote protect your ip but it's not yours you are completely missing the point of SCP content and what I feel like this is what I said, but just the politically correct version. Yeah, 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 yeah. It works, okay? And I'm gonna give links uh, to both channels, and I'm not, again, no. <clears throat> uh, I'm in, I'm in the, I'm in the, oh, I'm here, oh, I'm here, oh, wait, mama, we made it. Oh, mama, we made it, oh, oh, man. Anywho, let's get, let's. It would be nice to explain to YouTube about it. Who, who is this? Who is this? Never seen this guy's content before. I hey, appreciate your comments, sir. Anywho, let's, uh, let's continue. Not recommending the content of either, but I'm gonna give links to both channels in the description so you guys can follow through and make sure that, you know, this is. Hey, look, bro. We, we, you know, we, we jumping over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? been taken care of one way or the other and if for some reason isaiah x cozy or I'm, i think his actual name is isaiah cozy because that's his main channel yeah yeah, if yeah isaiah cozy happens to watch this or somebody sends him a link to it um just appeal the strike the okay i know you probably don't have access to lawyers and all these other things you're don't. not worried about it don't i saw in your video that you were talking to scp like staff and they'll probably advise you the same thing or advise you they have no idea what to do yeah they they pretty much and i didn't want to say it because like it, it just is it, like it's no point in saying it but they were pretty much just like like the email that i got made it seem like they were like well because it's his animation well you know did you steal it and i'm like no i mean and it, it was really just no help so i didn't even bring it up i was like whatever bro and that's so i just made the video hopefully somebody else can help that's just, you know what I mean? They didn't, I, cause I hit up the licensing team and they pretty much just said, like, is it their animation? I don't know if we can. So it's one of those things where it's like, you know. It's possible. They'll probably give you, they probably have an idea of what to do. 
if they ever get back to you. Just appeal the strike. There is, when I was copyright struck by uh, Infographics show, and it was a mistake on their part, and they it was there was an automated system. Hey, listen, the reason I ain't appeal it, and you already said it, but I'm gonna go ahead and reiterate the point. Listen, we not rich on this side. I don't got no lawyers. You know, if this goes to court, I don't got like what I mean, bro. What are we talking about here? You know what I mean? What are, what are we talking about here? System and all these other things. Um. All I did was appeal it, and immediately, as soon as a person saw it, they were like, oh, this is not, I should not have done this, this or we should not have done this, or the machine uh, algorithm should not have done this, whatever it was. And it was reversed. And even if it isn't, you will win on appeal. This is Creative Commons content, regardless of what they think. I'm not a lawyer. Let me be clear about that. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. I'm not giving you legal advice. I am giving you YouTube advice. <laughs> put it. Okay. You should... And you're doing this at your own risk, obviously, because of the way the YouTube system works, unfortunately. Now, now look, now look. Listen, this is what I don't like about advice in general. You know, there go the disclaimer. Y'all ever give y'all best friend advice and you give a disclaimer just in case it ruins their whole life? Yeah, it's one of those things. I'm going to let this this video uh, uh, grow a little bit because I know he has a, right, a, a broader audience. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let um a little I'm gonna let it stir a little bit in the pot before I decide to do anything because I'm not about to get I'm not about to get in, in, in a whole mix because I appealed something and now I'm I gotta fly to Russia to go now you know what I mean and I might be overthinking it but I'm a very cautious person especially when it comes to things like this you know what I mean it's not as if I have two strikes or something like that this is the first strike I ever received um so. With that being said, I'm just going to see what happens in these next couple of days. And uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Again, I'm not like, I'm not going to let them get away with this. I'm not going to lie. I'm throwing shots and shade every single time down the line. I don't care. Because it don't it don't make no sense. I'm not reacting to none of his stuff. But I will be commenting. Oh, I, I will be commenting. Anywho, let's keep going. But under most circumstances, appealing it. And just saying, I, this is Creative Commons content. This is not under a protected copyright. I can do this. Should be perfectly fine. And more importantly, we'll just take a look at one of the random videos. This one's one of their most popular ones. Oh, yeah, they don't. So it looks to me, yeah, it looks to me like they're keeping this under a standard YouTube copyright. Now, I'm confused about this also. I don't know if Dr. Samirian is ever going to see this video, but should I put my SCP reactions under Creative Commons? I feel like I probably need to do that. If I need to do that, I'll do that, because I don't do that. <laughs> like, but if anybody ever reposted my SCP reaction, I wouldn't be angry. I wouldn't strike them. I don't care. Whenever people... People have reposted my content. They have reacted to my content. They have done so many things. I don't care, bro. Like, again, as, from YouTuber to YouTuber... I just, I don't see why you would do that. Unless they're, ex like, blatantly just stealing the whole video and just re-uploading it. You know what I mean? Like like a plug. We don't do plug channels around here, chat. No, sir. So, uh, Detective Void is actually in violation of the creative... Like, there aren't a lot of limitations for Creative Commons, right? But the uh, Detective Void, it looks very strongly... And I'm not seeing... I'm not scrolling through the timeline of this video, just as an example... And I don't see any text that says anything of the sort. There is like a kind of conclusion for it. But in the description, and yeah, these are, mm -hmm, yeah, these are definitely uh, under a violation of the Creative Commons copyright. Cozy uh, live. Commons, uh, <laughs> protections because they do not state in the, yeah, they don't state in the description or anywhere in the video that the works are creative commons and how they're protected their work is a derivative like for example this is scp4975 an animated video right scp4975 is under a creative commons share alike attribution license right so and i just would like to say before he continues this is the exact point i was making when i said it doesn't matter if he animated it. At the end of the day, he's using something in his video that's attributed to Creative Commons, such as, like you said, SCP-29, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, it's an SCP, and he's 
that's the main focal point of the video. A lot of people told me like, oh, maybe it's because you reacted to his own original animated character. That's like the rubber saying, oh, I'm copyright striking you because you're you're looking, you're making a reaction to my rubber. No, bro, like, don't make no sense. It really don't. So first of all, there's nothing in here that shows attribution. There's nothing in here that links back to the original work. And the work itself is not being distributed under a Creative Commons license. Those are the three elements that have got to be followed. You have to link back to the original work. You have to say who wrote it. And you, if you create a derivative piece of content, it's not enough if I just mention SCP-4975 in a video, for example, or if I like talk a little bit about it. But if I literally just make an adaptation, an animated adaptation of a thing like these people are doing, you have to include those elements. You have to say who made it. You have to link back to the original article and you have to release the new piece under a Creative Commons license. So these people, are the ones who are in violation, not the reactor. Right? You heard the man, chat. You heard the man. Once again, um, I'm gonna stand by what I said as far as like appealing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make any brash decisions. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give it a few days, um, and, and we'll we'll see what happens. Um, all I'm gonna say is from here on out, you have somebody like Dr. Sumerian, highly respected in the SCP community. Like, I mean, literally, like, he, I feel like he almost might be, like, one of the Dons. Like, this is somebody who, like, this is the guy. And then, for me, you know what I mean? I'm not going to say nothing like that, like, I'm the Don or nothing like that. But people know who I am in the SCP community. And, 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 and I bring entertainment, joy, you know what I mean, whatever. And I don't want to say I'm respected because, you know, I, I want to be humble about it. But people know who I am. Uh, if this brought it to his attention, that means people know who I am, right? And like you don't, you just don't do that, bro. And I've always said this, and this is what I said in the video, like the nerdcore community, bro. It's a community, it's a circle. We all uh, succeed and, and uplift the whole community together. The more content there is, the more outreach. You never know who who who's in my community that can help your community. You know what I mean? Somebody reposted my reaction on TikTok. Now I have somebody like Pacer in my chat who's like a like one of one of my favorite chatters. I'm not gonna lie, he'd be here all the time. Like, bro, like you never know. You never, you just never know what content can help your content. And it's just like, it's just upsetting, bro. It, it, it's upsetting, bro. It's, it makes no sense whatsoever. Anywho. And actually, let's take a look at Mr. Cody, because he has other SCP. He just called me Cody? Yo, you know what's crazy about that? Somebody else said that. Somebody made me a fan art, and this is Isaiah Cody. I did not reply. I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to say nothing. Because why would you put Isaiah Cody? It hurt my feelings. <coughs> e three action stuff. Let's see if he's in violation or not. He might not know. No, 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 no. I don't know. I'll oh, hear about me. Ah, chat, 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 chat. No, 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 no. It's not. All right, all right. We caught. <coughs> Original vid linked out. He's not linking to. He's linking. He's linking it as a fair use thing. Uh, I mean, his 4K. stuff is. Do, so if you're doing a reaction to an scp video i'm caught in 4k this is a problem for him too i'm caught on 4k so i'm caught in 4k he needs to include first of all that video has to be released under a creative commons license and yes sir he has to link back to the original scp 133 for just this one for example scp 1337 and the author of that article yes sir and these are not very hard hurdles to overcome yes sir and again this is just a matter of people not understanding how the system works yes these sir the bare minimums though this is what you absolutely. I understand. Have to do yes, sir. In order to create SCP content. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. And the, the the confusion over this problem, and again, I'm looking. Even the person who has been copyright struck is also not doing these things. Oh man, boss man, I'm the sorry. Confusion over these problems with the newest SCP content. Boss is, man, I apologize. Uh, is a serious problem, and this is for someone. I should say, for the SCP channel, it's the SCP animated channel. It's a little bit less reasonable for them to make this mistake. Because it looks like they're throwing a lot of money into animation, right? So anyone who puts this money into animation should have looked into the... He said, how'd they get you in 4K? How'd they get you in 4K? I wasn't exposed, bro. I already, I literally already explained that I don't do it. Uh, I explained that I don't... Should I release it under Creative Commons? I mean, I don't... It's like one of those things where it's like... It's very minuscule. You know, I put out so much content where it's like... I don't really like... If somebody were like, listen, if you don't put your shit under Creative Commons, I'm taking out your channel... And I'm like, all right, you know what I mean? From now, bro, I have over 100, almost 150 SCP videos. I'm not about to go back and do it to all of them, but 
you know, the reason that I linked the original video is so that we can get all of that, but just know, like, uh, I don't even know how to change my thing to Creative Commons, like, in the, like, I'm pretty sure you have to change your whole channel to Creative Commons. I think I might be wrong. It's possible that you could do it for that particular video. Um, I will see. I will check to see if there's like a setting I can just like while I'm uploading, just click, click, click. But if it's like a thing where I have to change my whole channel, not doing it. But like for Detective Void, you better do it because your whole channel is based off of SCPs. Mine isn't. I upload a lot of stuff, all right? But if I can do it for particular videos, I'll do it. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's an understood at first. The reactor is just reacting to a video on the internet and thinking, you know, it's fair use. It's actually, what's the best way to put this? <clears throat> First of all, reactions are probably not fair use. It's complicated, but whatever. Uh, well, reactions in general, yeah, I, I agree with you on that point, sir. A lot of companies will allow it, but the particular thing he's reacting to here doesn't need to be fair use. It is protected elsewise by the Creative Commons copyright, or I should say the cre yeah the Creative Commons protections. Just follow the Creative Commons license, and you're fine. You don't need to worry about it. Be is it or isn't it fair use? And we can talk about reactions all day. I've done reactions on this channel. Reactions are pro. I've done react. I had a reaction channel a long time ago. Reactions are probably not fair use, but companies often allow them under. And once again, let me explain this to y'all that don't understand. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says. And I will argue with you. I will argue with you up and down all day. People who do reactions, let's look at somebody like Soul Illuminati, Dante, all the people who have made so much off of, like, reactions. Nick, the only reason they're as big as they are is because of their personality, the things that they talk about, their commentary. Anybody can sit here, listen, anybody, you know, the, the argument I hear a lot is, oh my god, I can be a reactor, I can sit, then do it, then do it. You can't because you have no personality, you're soulless, you're boring, you're not entertaining. Not everybody can do it, not everybody can sit here and give insightful knowledge and be and react to things. Not a lot of people can do that, bro, and not a lot of people can do reactions live on Twitch in front of an audience, entertain the audience, interact with the chat, and react and keep everything interesting because, you know, SCP videos can be long, dragged out, but guess what, but guess what? When you want the cozy side, we able to like sit here and make them as interesting as they can. And yes, I'm going to say soulless because some people literally sit there and don't do nothing. They just watch the video. You know what I mean? And I, and I even had, I remember hearing this on a podcast before. Somebody was like, well, people make fun of reactions. And I, I wish I could tell you who this was. I don't really remember. I, I heard it a long time ago and I might be wrong, but I'm just, you know, preface it as saying I don't, you know. But literally, people who play video games are quite literally reacting to the game. I mean, they're playing it too, but they're reacting to the game. You're watching, you're watching them play the game for their reaction of the game. Thus, which is why your parents come in here and be like, "Why are you watching somebody else play a video game? Why don't you play the game yourself?" That's why. That's why parents say that because you like the person. The person's entertaining. The person makes the game more enjoyable. You know, it, it wouldn't is it aren't the creators, the people who put the content on the pedestal for everybody else to see to showcase the content. Isn't that literally what gaming channels do? Isn't that why so many games are popular? Isn't that why Rust is the number one game on Twitch right now? Because a bunch of content creators put it on a pedestal and now everybody's playing Rust. Isn't that why Among Us is the biggest game in 2020? Because everybody played the game and now it's on a pedestal. Bro, this is what reactions do. It's part of the community. What has what has everybody in the Nerdcore community said? They literally said, ever since we got reactions, this community has become more lively, it's become more whole, things have gotten better. It's the, bro, like, people just don't get it. They just don't get it. And this is why we're stuck in a loophole, and this is why I call Detective Void a fuck nigga. It's simple. Don't understand it. And I ain't even going to get into the fact that somebody, I don't want to say no names because I'm not even trying to, I'm not even trying to do this right now, but how in the hell do you have a reaction channel, but you copyright claim people who do reactions to your music stuff? Makes no sense. Whatever. Let's keep going. Certain limitations that, because they know that excitement about a particular product or a particular thing will often. Yes, sir. hundred bits. Appreciate it. Lead to people viewing that original piece of content more often um companies are a little smarter than most people give them credit for early on they didn't realize these things and they're like ah let's take down they just treated it like it was normal stealing but over time they've started to develop into the way of understanding how it works some companies don't give a crap 
some companies just have a very strict copyright policy where they will take stuff down. Uh, and they are probably within their legal rights to do so, uh, depending on how transformative a reaction is. But again, none of this matters if you're reacting to SCP content, because it is all derivative of SCP Wiki content and under the Creative Commons license, period. Obligatory, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't make... <laughs> Obligatory, I'm not a lawyer and I can't make uh, absolute determinations here, but I can tell you what I know and how I uh, deal with stuff. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to inform people about this issue. And again, links to both channels will be in the description below. Let me be clear here. Do not go to either of these channels for any reasons and harass people. Or hey, bro. Listen, my community... You want to come to our Discord and you want to you want to try to defend the you want to try to defend Detective Void? We can hop in VC. Let's get it cracking. All right, you know what I mean? Listen, listen, bro, listen, bro. Anybody, anybody is allowed to come talk to me. Just come over to the Discord side. Come to the cozy game. Trust me, we I'll talk to you, bro. I'm not Hollywood. I don't care how many subscribers I got. Yeah, y'all know, hey, yeah, bro. The chat know how we get, bro. The chat know how we get. Or complain at people. Just make, you know, if you want to talk, and this is just so you can see the people that I'm talking about here. And uh, you can find out whether or not these people have solved their problems one way or the other. Uh, and I think amplifying a voice here is important, but I don't want it to be hostile. I'm, I'm... I don't want it to be hostile either. I don't want it to be hostile either. But the moment you come on my side being hostile, I can't protect you anymore. I cannot protect you anymore. It's that simple. I'm talking to you, Carl. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday. W's in the chat, 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 W's in the chat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dr. Sumerian, I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate, hold on, I appreciate you, sir. Um, the situation has not been resolved and the fact that you are even discussing it means so much to me and my community more on this in my response video coming out in literally an hour. All right, boom. Posted that. Like my own comment. I'm my own number one biggest fan. Shout out Dr. Sumerian. Uh, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, bro. Big W's in the chat. Appreciate my boy here. You heard it. And damn, this is a 39-minute video from a 16-minute video. Hey, bro. Anywho, um, yeah, I never thought I would ever be in any type of controversy. I never thought I would ever be in any type of somebody else needs to talk about it. But uh, hey, we're here. We're here. We're here. And uh, once again, I'm sorry, sir. You know, Creative Commons. Hey, you know, I, 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 I know. I know. Anyways, let's... uh. Let me go ahead and, uh, you know, let me end the recording. Yeah, hey, sir.